okay, I've got a good day of sleep, so now it's time to head out and pay a visit to Abrams and let him know what I accomplished in the hills. And there is a, another Shreknet hub I am to activate for Mitnick in the Metalhead Industries in Hollywood. So that sort of checks out with the location. And then I guess it's off to Chinatown to find to find the what was his name? Barabus? In exchange for the information about the current sarcophagus. to Hollywood. There is the Metalhead Industries building, but I guess I'll pay, pay Abrams a visit first. Evening. Evening. Yeah, I've been to the King's Way. There was a vampire there, some kind of sick weirdo with, like, he, he didn't even look like a human. But anyway, I've dealt with him and with quite a lot of his creations as well. You wouldn't believe the stuff I've seen, but, well, I guess you're welcome. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. Well, I guess I'll be back then, at some point. Well, that was rather underwhelming. Although, I guess I'll wait and see what he procures for me. Maybe it will be worth my while after all. For now, I will go to the to the Metalhead Industries and try to deal with the situation there. Okay. It's a little crowded, although I guess if I have the card, they'll just assume I am uh, the rightful, like, you know, not owner, but that I'm entitled to enter the building anyway. Okay, there is probably the operations room. Oh. some kind of a computer here which is right Opera operations this should allow me access to the room up there but I need to plan my next moves very carefully
don't remember the password, but I guess I can deal with that. Okay. I guess while I'm here, might as well take a souvenir of some kind. Wait, why did it? Okay, that's just weird. I'm not going to take that. I don't think it will fetch a good price at the market anyway. I'm not going to lie, I, I thought there would be something really valuable in there. Not just some strange set of lamps. Okay, now to get out without being seen. Okay, now to get out without being seen. Fuck. Footsteps seem to be fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm starting to suspect half of them must be like disabled or something hired as a part of some government program. Maybe they're all blind and deaf. That's like the pretty much only explanation I've got for most of the things that seem to be happening here. get into a confrontation. If they get paid like a minimum wage or something, I can't even understand that. You know what? I will check this Vesuvius while, while I wake for, wait for, uh, for Abrams to procure my reward. I was never much of a club goer in life, especially not this kind of club, but I can check it out. Evening? Yeah, that's this kind of a place. As I said, never really my type, but I guess it's atmospheric enough with the like uh, lava lamps and the floor that's stylized as a part of a volcano or something with the name that's used. I guess I may check the bathrooms and maybe I can happen across some more body you know that's alone and Ah, Wait a... Uh, oh, hello. I, just in. I can't imagine you get much of a rise out of Vesuvius, being what you are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. Mm. Being what I am? What do you mean? I think we should get to know each other a little better upstairs. Where we can be ourselves. Come up to my room. Just 14 little steps. I'll make it worth it, believe me. 
Well, I'm not exactly sure what's your point, but lead the way. That was kind of rude of her to interrupt me on my way to the bathroom. empty. But I guess she probably is a vampire. Like the way she talked about who we are and whatever and me not getting a... how did she put it? Not, not getting a raise? Not like, you know, an obvious reference to my staff no longer working properly. So I guess I'll indulge her. See what the matter is about. What is it? Isn't this better? You and me alone for just a little while. Away from jihad and the nonsense and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment. But there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Yeah, I kinda figured that you want to want me to do something for you, right? Oh. I forget sometimes the two-faced nature of our blood. It's sad, really. The way we get conditioned so quickly, isn't it? The reason I asked you up here is because I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. Oh, I appreciate it, actually. Think nothing of it. I'm Velvet. Veloa. Call me Velvet. It's been months so, which is it then? I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, wouldn't you like to know about me? Yeah, I guess. What should I ask, though? I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm Listen, can we just talk about the hunters? Hunters? Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down a list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently I had one right under my nose. So, are they gone now? For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found the weapon in her locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching the club. And me. Well, there's no way to beat her on the bush with it. You may have to kill her. Like, it's either her or you. They're not going to stop until they exterminate us. I've had to adjust a lot to this existence. And I've accepted that I may have to do just that. But I'm a suspect. And if she ends up dead, and I'm seen, they'll either kill me, or chase me into obscurity, where I'll wither and die. Well, I guess I could take care of her for you. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. Listen, just... You know... I'll do it. Uh, but... What can you arrange in return? I've got a girl, Misty. She's divine, and a willing blood doll for the right amount of money. I'll set her up for you. My treat. Oh, that's actually... Actually, science sounds kind of good. I'm getting awfully hungry those last few nights. So, what exactly do you want me to do? You'd really be willing to do this for me. I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very. Very grateful. Yeah, so what do I do? She works over at the Sinbin now. Ah, okay, I know the place. On top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. 
No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Okay. I actually have a couple of questions before I go. Not that we are talking anyway. <laughs> well, do tell me a little about yourself, perhaps. After all, you yourself, uh, like, suggested I should ask about you, so here I am. Mm -hmm. So, how did you become this way? You know, a kindred? I'm sorry. I'd rather revel in the present than dwell on the past. Okay, I, I, I get it. Mm hmm. So. I guess you're not really that talkative, aren't you? Listen, I'll be going. I when I go when I come back, having done the deed, then maybe we'll talk some more. Yeah, actually, finding me a girl that I can feed on safely might be quite a good reward. And it just so happens I already know where the thin bin is, and I've talked with the owner, so it can be of help. can I do for you, Slick? Do you, do you have a girl here with a broken heart tattoo on her back? Uh, yeah. Chastity. She works downstairs in the booze. But if you're looking for someone to, uh, pull your cork, <laughs> I got better girls than her. She ain't exactly adventuresome. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sure she'll do just fine. All right. It's your dollar, but if you want a private show, you're gonna have to wait until the booth customers clear out. The girls don't come out for one-on-one -on -one action until then. Okay, so I'll be on my way. So I guess it's downstairs to the peep show. Now he said I'll have to wait for the others to clear the floor. So I wonder if there's maybe some way to, like, shut it down or something, disable it. Hmm. Password sinner. Now that might come in handy. So, hmm, actually a couple of folders here. What's the log file? Ah, it's... So I wonder what does he have on that transitive person? <laughs> Apparently she hasn't been making much. Yeah, especially compared to the others, which I guess makes sense because she's not really a stripper, she's a hunter, so I guess she's not really that keen on showing her ass to random strangers. I don't even want to think about what a donkey show is, so I'll just quit that. Now, what kind of private things does he have here? Oh, oh! So was he in contact with the DMP? Hmm. I guess he never... He was 
never brave enough to do it and that's good for him because one that was some sick shit and two he'd probably be dead in the attack by the strange creatures if he went there okay then but I guess I can like disable the peep show from here maybe the yeah right operational now window one is malfunctioning apparently override unavailable hmm so wait a minute yeah this is probably one they are cut or this is one depending on from where they're counting but if override is unavailable then how do I make this guy ah I get it he's he's going for, for some change from time to time so I guess if there is no change then if there is no change and I shut down the other windows then he'll be forced to go home still here but maybe if he runs out of money and goes to goes to get some change but there is no change uh, because I've taken apart the machine and maybe he'll go home not sure what else I can do because the override from the computer isn't working for that one window seems to have worked great now I just need to get inside but there are two of them right yeah so I need to convince this one to clear the floor yeah what are you looking for honey how about a freebie for me in the other room I'll just go back into the pleasure palace. You know what? I think you're a little confused about where the door is. <laughs> She's probably stoned or something. Still there? Or are you stoned out of your mind? 
Hmm, I can actually... Okay, that's an, an orthodox way to open a door. Yeah, you know well, what? Well, here we are, you got something specific. Now while I'm here, we can sort of make out, I guess. It's a little unusual, but I promise you like it. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Okay, so... Now I have to just deal with the... Hunter. I hope the music will mask the gunshots because I can't handle the handle her in close combat. I'm much too uh, too much of a wimp for that. So a deep breath. I'm sorry you brought this on yourself. Probably evacuate the building before anyone comes asking questions. Just exit nicely through the back door. Yep, nobody saw anything. Hunter, she's dead. Mm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Yeah, it's unfortunate it had uh, it had to be this way, but that's just the way it is, I guess. Yes. But through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally. And I'm beginning to think it was fate. I'm not really sure. But got anything else for mm -hmm. me? So, what do you recommend doing here in Hollywood? Mingle, sightsee, chat. And me, of course. Oh, that's a that's an interesting way to put it, uh, considering the way I asked the question. But oh well. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me? What's your opinion about Ash? I've run into him a little area. Help he, help him with the hunters as well. Ash, Isaac does so love him. We're like step siblings, Ash and I. But I think Ash is reckless. He's never been comfortable with what he's become. And he's getting careless. Mm -hmm. And what about Isaac? I adore Isaac. He's the father I never had. Why, if anything happened to him, I'd just end it all. But nothing ever will. Isaac's gifted, a saintly patron of the arts, and the most respected kindred in this city. Well, you have an awfully high opinion of him, but I guess... He's rather polite, if nothing else. So what about that girl you talked about? Is she, like, downstairs? We could use some... Poor, poor David Hatter. What are you... talking about? Who? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies, 
and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? So, they're making a movie about the US government, right? No. It's about kindred. Oh, the imagine my shock. The story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David, a kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? Well, I'd imagine that's final death, right? Death. I'm afraid for David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. <sighs> So you want me to destroy the screenplay, right? I don't think Hannah knows his collaborator is Kendrick. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who killed the traitor, but do not touch David. That's a little two-faced of you to just let the human go but kill the other guy. But... I'll try to do what I can. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. Well, I'll deal with it. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. So, I'll come back with the screenplay then. I must say, I don't quite like her. She seems a little sleazy with the way she's flirting with me, but not really, but kinda. And with the way she's phrasing every request as a, oh, how it troubles me to trouble you, instead of, you know, just... Instead of just saying it. Excuse me, who knew we could still cough if we were dead? Well, evening. Night eating you? I heard you're a writer. Is that true? Does a writer write, or does he just like ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120 page piece of film genius? But you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that's what I write mostly, I guess. So, what kind of horror film are you working on right now? Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks like popular characters, but me, I'm gonna be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it gonna be scary, but it's gonna be, like, it's gonna be believable. So, no sparking in the, sh in the sunshine, right? Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff, you know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? I see. I'd love to see that, actually. Do we have a copy around or something? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you know the business? Cause, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one is still a work in progress. I actually know a few people that would be interested in making a, a vampire flick. You do? Man, that's fantastic! I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. Don't worry about it. So, anyone helping you with the story? I really can't talk about it. 
talk about it. He likes his privacy. <laughs> Don't you think he wants to be famous too? Like, he deserves some credit, right? Okay, okay, this guy calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about the Empire for my days all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I, I love how his mind works. I see. Okay, I'll be going now. I'll get back to you on the whole uh, movie stuff. Hmm. So Julius, is it uh, on the beach in Santa Monica? I guess it's one of the thin bloods, a friend of E's. You know what? I will go back to the Warrens. search for that CD I was supposed to get for Persian because if I'm heading back to Santa Monica anyway then I might as well do that I hope it will be a quick affair and maybe it will like help me in the long run to keep keep on his good side. He seems to know a lot, and knowledge is power. something here. Yeah, right. That's just great. You. exception to everything else. And again, man. Like once again, I'm wondering if they did it on purpose. You know, make you grow to reach their leader. It's kind of symbolic when you think about it. Okay, I don't think the CD is going to be in there, whatever that is. It doesn't look like water. It looks like a CD. It looks interesting enough, I guess. I hope they won't miss it because I wouldn't like them to kill me for snooping around. Anyone here? Evening. Have you seen? second thought I leave you to your business so goodbye. It was a little weird. She was staring intently at that poster with like I'm getting lost. Uh, this is where Mitnik is right? Or at least where he was. Is the CD in here?
wonder what that is. It's like acid or something. I'm not anxious to try, to be honest. How great skulls. This place seems to be like at least. What the? That's a freaking body right in the middle of the way. Seems to be composed of at least 50% garbage. Even more, even more. How do they themselves even fuck? Oh great, another skeleton. I seem to really like this kind of decoration, but anyway, how do they themselves find anything in that mess? if it's like funny for them they are watching me from the shadows and giggling to themselves Actually, now that I'm here, maybe I'll ask how Romero's been doing lately. If he's still keeping the zombies in check. that whole blood sucking thing working out for you not bad how are things in the cemetery moon comes up dead come out hammer comes down tv gets a uh, lousy reception all in all life's having around swell hmm, nice to hear it i just wanted to ask how are things uh, you know for you so see you He's a rather nice fellow for someone who lives in the freaking cemetery and shoots zombies for a living. Santa Monica, because I have first to uh, deal with the thin blood on the beach, 
Julius is it? And secondly, there is a CD for Bertrand as well. To Santa Monica, please. Might as well feed on the way there. In that alley I, I know so well. Look at this. Just in time. Although, damn it, they seem to be on an intercepting trajectory. was a little risky with the other girl just there, but I guess nobody saw me, so no harm done. crazy or does he know something because that sounded like the description of Gehenna right with the antediluvians returning to punish the children well evening ah back so soon did you make it to the warrens and find my data cd yeah i actually did here we go ah excellent now listen up fledgling you might want to take notes Oh, you actually know a lot about computers, and I thought I'm, uh, you know, pretty great at the subject, so thanks for the tips. They will no doubt be useful. See ya. Well, that was actually quite worthwhile, considering how little I was asked to do. The insight he gave me will no doubt prove valuable in my future endeavors. Now to the beach. It's too risky. He's staring right outside the open. Maybe I'll find somebody on the pier. actually alone, so the rest must have packed up and left. Evening. What, what, what do you want? We need to talk. You know a David, ha you know David Hater, or Hatter, or whatever, the like screenwriter from Hollywood. No, 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 no. You need to lie better. You've been talking too much with him. Listen, you know what the penalty is for spilling the beans to mortals? <laughs> I, I'm so 
sorry. Please, please, I I'll never do it again. Man, the penalty for revealing our existence to mortals is death, and I mean the final kind. There is like, like it's the end of the road. Listen, I, I didn't make the rules, I just live by them because there is no choice. That's 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 the way it is. Please find your heart. Please find your heart. Listen, if I if I let you go and they find out that I did, they could be taking my life instead and I wouldn't like it one bit. You could let me go? Promise, I, I, I would leave Los Angeles, I swear. Okay, you're in luck this time, because I'm a rather soft as far as our peers go, apparently. So, just leave and never come back and lay low and, you know, don't talk to anyone else about all of this. Please, but find your heart. All right, so leave LA and don't let me see you ever again, ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you. Okay, so off you go. Well. That. I really hope they won't find out about it, but if they do, I can always spin some bullshit tale about how he ran away and I, I couldn't apprehend him in time. I couldn't have killed him. He seemed too, clu too clueless and almost like innocent. And the stutter, it sort of made, it, made him more endearing. Okay, this is a little too crowded for my taste. Mm, that's the place where they, where the serial serial killer guy uh, killed his first victim back then. But the pier is still locked. Okay, I don't think I can accomplish anything in here be entirely honest. It's a little too crowded. But I guess I've done enough for the night, so I'll go back downtown uh, to the Chantry and um, have a good day of sleep and then, um, then tomorrow I will get back to Velour uh, the Vesuvius, tell her about, you know, the screenplay and whatnot. Mm. And then uh, visit Abrams again, see if he prepared that reward he was talking about. Uh, and, uh, and then I'm off to Hollywood. I mean, not, not Hollywood, but uh, rather, rather uh, Chinatown. Uh, trying to look for Barabbas, for Gary. Man, this whole intrigue with the sarcophagus is getting more complicated by the minute. Going somewhere? Yeah, downtown. and ask uh, Venus if she has any money for me. Yeah, I think I'll do just that, but first... Thank you. 
Excuse me. Um, excuse me. Man, some people are rude. Rather blocking the entrance like that. Got anything for me? Got something for me? Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Thanks. I'll be back eventually for more. Have a good night. That's quite a nice arrangement we've got there, I must admit. Check if there are any new messages for me. There's probably at least one from Mitnik. Yeah. Final network hub. Kamikaze Zen in Chinatown. Break into the fold as well. Ah, okay, so I need to. Infect it with the virus to proceed through the security. But I guess all that's for tomorrow. For now I feel like I've accomplished enough, so I'll just go to bed and I'll see what, what tomorrow brings. <laughs>